Hello everybody, welcome to the latest Worlds of ZZT livestream. Tonight we're going to be playing Anna, which is possibly my favorite modern ZZT game. It's a puzzle game with a lot of story to it. It's, it's different, it's very different. And without a doubt what makes it most different is the fact that it has a soundtrack, also composed by Benko, that's like actual music, MB3 files, outside of CZT. So for the first time ever, there's actually going to be background music. I'm kind of dealing with being a little sick, so bear with me. I gotta do a lot of reading. But we'll get through it, and this is hopefully one to remember. So, let's check out Anna. And each of the areas here has its own song, so I'll be starting as we go to them. Uh, the game is mostly consists of pushing things, solving little puzzles, and reading diary and journal entries. And it takes place in the mid-2000s. Oh my god, you're totally crushing. I am not. You look like you're in love. What's his name? So first, according to the track name, we will be delving into Mount Heartache. Mr. Miguel, I'm having trouble with the Pythagorean theorem. Can we talk after class? Dear Diary, today Mr. Miguel came over to my desk right after class ended. He told me I was doing really well on this chapter. And this game doesn't let you make mistakes that ruin you. So you can keep going, which is incredible. Geometry test. A plus. Wow. dad not to drive down the 101 after what happened. What? You didn't hear? It was in the five-car pileup. Dear Diary, I went back to his old classroom today. He's gone. Like, really gone. The books were gone. The paper mache pterodactyl was gone. Even his desk was gone. I waited. I sat at my old desk and just waited. Summer break! Freaking finally. Sophomore year can suck my butt. What a shish so. We're going to party for like three whole months. Totally. Algebra test. Zero out of thirty. See me. Wilson. Thank you for your note. We've talked to Anna about her performance. She mentioned Mr. Miguel being able to help her. Could you ask if you could meet with her? Uh, gate, this game has its own official soundtrack, but that's made by the person who made this game. This is Benko's music specifically for this game. Text messages between Rick and Kathy. We need to talk to Anna. Is this about her friend Persephone? Huh? No, it's about her math grades. She was doing so well last year. What happened? Oh, did I accidentally miss a side passage? I oh, know I got that one. 
Right, they actually go in there. Now you got me worried. Yep, I got it. Paper clipping saying that some dude died. I swear to god, don't even fucking touch that. It's mine now. I'll get it back if you tell me who he is. Keep it. Happy birthday. Who is he? Who is Marshall Miguel? I saw you lurking around this old classroom. So, big deal. I like to go back there sometimes. He's gone, dude. He's not coming back. No matter how long you cry in that dumb classroom. do for me. Next time you ask me to do something for you, I'll do it. No questions asked. Deal. Who is Mr. Miguel? I said I'd do something, not answer a question. Oh, Mom just opened the garage door. I guess I'll just give her your report card then. No! Mr. Miguel was my old math teacher. something a crazy person would do. Are you in or not? Are you nuts? Don't answer that. I'll go. Someone has to be there to laugh at you. Hi Penny, it's Kathy, Anna's mom. Is she with you? Yeah, we're at school. Did you know Anna has an interest in the occult? What? What are you doing at school? She has a lot of candles, and she just drew a pentagram with salt. I think she's trying to get possessed. Ah, I did miss one. Where's your sister? She's not in her room. You think she tells me where she goes? Can you guess? She left with Persephone. Text her about it. Anna? 
Anna, answer us. Anna, your worry is sick. Anna, we know you're at school. Anna. Miss call six, mom. Miss call one, dad. know that you two are okay. And we pick up our gem, and the light goes on in the back. Yeah, we're okay. Anna made us turn off our phones for this stupid seance. Thank god, we're almost there. Good. Anna looks pretty down. She really wanted this to work. Mr. Addison. Anna, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I don't care if you're mad at me. I just want you to come back. And now it's time to change the track. Because now we are making changes in Mechanical Heights. Birthday is gonna be bananas. Birthday bananas. You really shouldn't. Like, don't. You're so shy. Name ideas for Purse's party. Persephone's perfect party. Purse plus Anna equals 18 forever. 17, never again. Technically adults. just a typo. Start by buying cigarettes. We don't even have to smoke them. Oh god. Then we can buy dirty magazines. They have both Playgirl and Playboy at the Plaid Pantry. It's basically a buy girl's wet dream in there. Anna, no. Oh, 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 strippers. How could I forget that? Where should we go? Nowhere. Jiggies? Sorry, Jigglies? No. Too thrash trashy. El Diablo? Too vegan. The Pitiful Princess? Too sad. None? Is none an option? Oh, Sassies. Perfect. is only two days away. Are you excited? Hello?
Tomorrow we'll be smoking black and mild and throwing dollars at strippers. Are you giddy just thinking about it? Are you going to respond to my messages? Sure, at my place already. I have my mom's van for the whole night. We're on our way to get you. Answer your door, Persephone. I can see that you're getting my messages. No lights are on. Are you even home? fucking blast last night without you. Felicia bought some pink camels. Her and I shared one. We tried to go to Sassy's. Did you know they have a two drink minimum? A coke is like six bucks. What a ripoff. This is bullshit. Answer me. You really have me scared. See that you're getting my messages, so I'll just say it. I'm sorry, I miss you. Just at least tell me what I did. Oh man, if you play this game without the soundtrack, you're really missing out. Remember when you came out to me? You were so nervous to tell me. I'm really glad you did, though. What? I've never seen this before. I accidentally hit the button. I had no idea this was in the game. I'm very glad this has happened. I'm a little coconut sitting on my cocoa butt. Called myself on the phone just to see if I was home. Whoa! Now there are gems. This is weird. I've definitely looked for a different ending, and there isn't one, but I wonder how many other secrets there are like this. It happened when I shot, like, this. place. Come alone. Okay, right now, I'm on my way. Oh, it feels so weird to be here. No, there's not going to be anything. 
Yeah, the coconut secret made some gems here when there were like walls before. about your friend Persephone. Sure. Someone at school called her Patrick, and she didn't even correct them. Her name used to be Patrick. Why? I don't know. I guess her parents gave her the wrong name. That secret actually erases the passage. So that's interesting. There used to be a passage right here, but it's gone now. Well, this is awkward. When did I last save? Zap here. Oh, uh, well, this is an unexpected turn of events. I'm just gonna cheat for the flag and go backwards. Oh yeah, I guess I can go to the... Well, I hope everybody likes this track. It's like nothing ever happened.
keep lining these up wrong in my head. I'm sorry for being a jerk. Your parents are great. Mine would never surprise me with Madonna tickets. Sorry that total D knocked your phone out of your hands. Happy birthday, by the way. That's a hell of a birthday gift. Yeah, my parents are the best. Why didn't you tell me? You're kind of a jerk, like, all the time. I just wanted to have fun and not worry about what you think. So that's two gems. For Act 3, it is Lost in Felt Forest. A slip of paper on your father's desk. Notice of termination, effective immediately. A copy of this form must be sent to employee upon termination of employment. Please make sure all information is complete. Dear Diary, I heard them fighting again. They thought I was asleep. I wish I had been. Your dad just needs some time to sort himself out today. This last week has been rough for him. Would you mind heading out somewhere after school? Dad gets fired so I get kicked out of my home? He'd appreciate the alone time. Hey, mind if I come over to hang out after class today? Sure. Are mom and dad still fighting? Hey Karen, it's Kath. Are you still with Swanson and Swanson? I think it might be time for me to get back in the workforce. It feels right. I'm ready. Kathy. Oh, for Pete's sake. Addison is 17 and Anna is basically living on campus. The girls will be fine. Besides, I miss going to the office. Rick Robertson resume.pdf. Rick Robertson cover letter 3.doc. Try to friend me on Facebook? Can't dads friend their daughters on Facebook? Um, is your dad's name Rick? Yeah, why? He just tried to friend me on Facebook. Oh, barf. Sorry. First, you give me grief about my tie, and now Anna? Is it that bad? It looks like it came out of an Easter egg. Go pick a solid color tie. I like that tie. Red, preferably. I'm kind of mad at him. For what? Losing his job, pissing off mom, kicking Addison out of the house.
Addison just asked if we're still in love. Oh, Jesus, that girl. Yeah, but we are still in love, aren't we? Let's talk about it when I get home. Stephanie's after class today? Probably. Why? What's up? No big deal. Could you take Addison with you? Sure. Are you okay? Yeah, I just need to talk to Dad. Dear D, I just can't concentrate on my classes at all. I'm really worried about Mom and Dad. Addison sent me some texts today to make me think they won't make it. This is such a pretty board. Hurry up. Mom and Dad are freaking me out. Hold on, I'm almost there. Try faster, they just went up to their room, and I don't know if they're going to fight or fuck. Gross, why would you text me that? Hurry up so I don't have to talk about this with my therapist in 20 years. Dear D, I've almost been all weird since Dad got shit cans. Can I even- can I say shit in here? Oh my god, have I ever cursed in here? Shit fuck. That's how I feel today. Totally barf balls. This gets me every single time I play this game. It's like the one time you actually have to backtrack. God help me if I touch one of these other purple keys, because then I am stuck. These puzzles... Oh, I'm missing here. Oh, right. Like, I don't think it's possible to actually get stuck in these things. It's really good. I don't know, it kinda does. I never thought of that. And there's our third gem. Dear Diary, Good news. Tad got a job. Mom really likes being back at work, and Addison is thrilled to have them both out of the house. I still get so angry and sad thinking that they could have split up. And so it goes to the final act, the Palace of Self-Preservation. Anna, I know you can't read this, but I just want to write it down for when you come back. If you come back. Anna, the 
This is Purse. Asin told me what she was doing. I think it's great. I'm going to be writing here too. Anna? Mom found your diary. Why were you going to a fortune teller? I mean, it's cool or whatever, but it just doesn't seem like something you'd do. Anna, they let you drop your classes. You get your tuition back. Apparently, you're not the first student to slip into a coma. Anna, I don't know if you can hear me, or if you will remember this, but I've been in here reading these letters to you every day. Persephone even told me the passcode to your phone, so I've been able to read your texts. I just want you to know that we love you, no matter what you did. We all just miss you so much. If you can hear this, keep fighting. Love, Mom. Anna, the driver pled guilty. He's getting 10 years. Your mom was bawling. I've never seen someone turn so red. I asked if this made her feel better. She said no. Anna, I start classes tomorrow. Persephone is going to show me around campus. I'm excited and nervous, and I wish you could be there.
Anna. You need to wake up. The sun is out. You're missing it. Anna, if you didn't believe the fortune teller, then why did you keep going back? But if you did believe her, why did you drive that day? I don't understand. about what they're saying. They're talking about organ donations and quality of life. You need to pull through. Jump. That's how it ends. So it's also kind of a downer, but it's just such an incredibly well done game in just every respect. The soundtrack is great to listen to, and I still listen to it outside of this game. The writing is really good, which is something that basically never really happened in ZZT games for the longest time. The puzzles are great, the graphics are great, everything combines together to just make this an incredibly polished experience. 
So, thank you all for watching. Sorry to end with another downer. Before I go, let me post a link. The soundtrack is on SoundCloud. Uh, it's also in the zip file. When I put it on the museum, I decided to include it just to make sure it never disappears. So... Oh, I always assume she, she doesn't wake up. I very much believe she is still in that coma. Because if you do go back... There's, there's only three lights. There's, there's never a fourth light. You can't light up that last light. So I've always taken it to be a depressing ending. I don't know. Oh, I didn't actually switch back to here, but I mean, there's, there's a missing light. I don't even know if it's an object, but... Well... It's a, it's a very distinct game, and I feel like it really marks the start of what I'd consider like the modern era of ZZT games. It has an idea, it's, it sticks to it, it's very polished, it knows what it wants to be and what it wants to do, and it does it. No more, like, angsty teenagers, this is just a good story, good puzzles, good music, good everything. So, horrible downer or not, that's it for tonight, and that should be enough to get me my little Twitch affiliate or partner or whatever the thing is called. So thank you all for bearing with me and watching like a dozen streams this month, even though it was actually seven. I am definitely going to take next week off for streaming. But we'll be back again in two weeks, and we'll we'll play something happier. I don't know what, but it's going to be something a bit more uplifting with this, I'd say. So later. <laughs>